Winter Weather Alert. All right, West Michigan on this Tuesday, we do have rainfall expected for a majority of the day, even though some of you may be waking up to dry conditions that'll change throughout the morning. Taking a live look outside in Holland, though, look, you can see the grass, the pavement as we've had a lot of snow melt recently with our warmer temperatures and now adding rainfall to the mix flooding will continue to be a concern. But what's also a concern this morning is freezing rain. And we do have a winter weather advisory for that along and north of I-96. Expect around 7 o'clock around the I-96 corridor and noon as you travel more northward where the colder air will live longer. It's when temperatures are at or below the freezing mark when we run into uh, that freezing rain potential. So we are starting to have more and more rainfall push into West Michigan which will continue to be the case throughout the morning. And anywhere you see those pink returns, that's some of that freezing rain, really anywhere along and north of I-96, this is possible. And that freezing rain can really make difficulties out on the roadway. So something we really need to be cautious of through your morning commute. We even have a little bit of change over here uh, just east of the Grand Rapids area around I-96. Otherwise, southward, we're just talking plain old rain. We'll have that throughout the day in that scattered fashion as this low pressure system slowly but surely continues to ride along a stationary front giving us that rainfall even heavy at times and possibly with a few rumbles of thunder the more south you travel. Look at this temperature spread. We're talking 29 degrees right now in Big Rapids, 48 in Kalamazoo, 50 in Benton Harbor, so a very different day depending on where you live, not only this morning, but even as we go throughout the afternoon. Lighter winds, so some of you, especially north of I-96, feeling a bit cooler, but nothing too uh, crazy with our wind chills this morning. And we do continue to have these flooding concerns. Now along the Grand River and Comstock Park, some minor flooding there, that flood warning continuing until Thursday morning. All of Ottawa County in a flood watch, and still the ice jam in Robinson Township with that flood warning until six o'clock this evening as flooding will be a concern for the rest of the week. So something we will keep a top of mind today. 48 degrees, of course, warmer south, cooler northward as we have that rain likely throughout the day continuing in this scattered fashion. Now we can have this heavy at times. Of course, that freezing rain potential, mostly for our morning and midday hours. And then we even can have some rumbles of thunder, especially throughout the afternoon, more southward where we have that increased uh, instability for you. Once we get past our dinner hour, we'll start to dry out and then the colder air starts to push in and we could see a few uh, flurries in the overnight and even early tomorrow morning. So those flurries definitely possible. We'll drop back to 18 degrees overnight, and then we can keep some more lake effect flurries tomorrow. I think mostly in the first half of the day. Otherwise, we're cloudy and dry, and that's the way that we will start off your Thursday as well. Now, Thursday overnight into Friday, that's our next snow chance, relatively uh, lighter snow on that chance. But here's a look at the start. Of your super seven day forecast 48 degrees today if you're in one of the warm spots try to soak it up even though we do have that rainfall because that colder air it's here to stay then for the rest of the week 26 degrees tomorrow 27 on thursday but again it's thursday overnight to friday that we see that next chance of snow as this system is going to push through our region staying off to our south and east so we're on the cold side of this system giving us all snowfall for this and it's really going to start to depart friday afternoon so through the whole cycle, Thursday evening into Friday afternoon, I think we'll gain about one to two inches of snowfall. So still a lighter system, but snowfall nonetheless to end the work week. Saturday, we'll have some sunshine temperatures back in the 30s. Then our next snow chance arriving on Sunday.